What's up guys, it's Will back again, and today's review is The Mummy. The Mummy is a fantasy adventure film that was directed by Alex Kurtzman and is a reboot of The Mummy franchise. Okay, so this Mummy film takes place in modern day and primarily follows the duo of Nick Morton and Jenny Hasley, played by Tom Cruise and Annabelle Wallace, respectively. This duo eventually stumbles upon a tomb that contains the mummified remains of an ancient princess named Princess Amonet, played by Sophia Batella. Princess Amonet eventually comes back to life and because of evil reasons she has chosen Nick for a dark ritual that will expose the world to the truest form of evil yet. And the rest of the film is spent watching Nick and Jenny attempt to learn more about Princess Amonet and hopefully destroy her while Amonet herself wants to use Nick for her own malevolent scheme. Hmm, so The Mummy was not a film that I was really all that excited for. I'm not sure there were many people out there that were really looking forward to this one hitting theaters because the trailers just never looked all that interesting and the reboot itself seemed like something that no one was really clamoring for. And partially this reboot happened because basically everything ever is getting a reboot nowadays and The Mummy is a previously established and successful franchise that would be very easy for the studio to bring back, but more importantly it's because Universal wanted to kick off The Dark Universe, their own version of the MCU but with monsters. We'll get into The Dark Universe in a bit, but let's stay with The Mummy for now. This particular Mummy film, while not as good as The Mummy films back in the late 90s to early 2000s, is not really much of a departure in terms of style, tone, and overall approach. You take two main characters, lovers, and throw them into a race for their lives against an evil ancient Egyptian mummy spirit or whatever, and then you add in a third wheel to just sort of be silly and add some humor to the adventure. This film is absolutely a reboot in every sense because that description I just gave you is exactly what this mummy film is, and while it's certainly not as bad as what its Rotten Tomato score would indicate, it's not really that good either. On one hand, I can't deny that I had fun with this movie though, but I think I just need to clarify what you shouldn't be expecting out of it. Don't expect a story that makes a lot of sense, don't expect anything that new or fresh, and don't expect this giant summer blockbuster, because this film isn't quite a journey or as big of a journey as you probably were led to believe. This mummy film is one that feels all over the place and out of control at some points and then self-restraint in others. So while I still enjoyed the movie for the most part as a popcorn flick, there's definitely an imbalance that's present that makes for a fairly inconsistent viewing experience. And I think a big problem was what I just mentioned a second ago. The story makes very little sense. At one point, Princess Amonet is in Nick's head and she can make him do whatever she wants. And then inexplicably that just stops and then he can suddenly not listen to her ever again. I'm not sure if the explanation for this was cut out of the film or whatever, but there's just a handful of inconsistencies like that are just never really touched on that will slowly build up to frustration because the story doesn't seem to know where it draws the line in the sand. Like I mentioned, this mummy also isn't anything new. I don't think anyone was expecting a fresh take on the genre with this one or anything, but this movie is like a worse version that very strongly resembles the mummy films we got in the late 90s to early 2000s, except this time the journey doesn't feel as grand and the characters aren't as interesting. I'm not sure whether this is Tom Cruise's worst movie, but I think this is the worst I've seen Tom Cruise. His character is pretty much a worst case scenario. Bland, generic hero with little to no personality that is just sort of there to be someone the viewers can identify with. Problem is his backstory and really his entire personality is just never explored in any real depth. Same with Annabelle Wallace's character. Their characters are very meh and sadly their acting kind of was too. And I know you're probably thinking to yourself, didn't Will just say that he enjoyed the movie? Doesn't sound like it. Don't worry, I'm getting there. Well just actually, let me clarify. This is like sort of a guilty pleasure kind of movie. This is the type of movie that you should watch on like Showtime or HBO and not in the movie theater. It's very flawed, but it still has some really enjoyable moments despite those flaws. The action for the most part is pretty fun. There's like zombie mummies that go around and wreak havoc and whenever these things are chasing Nick and Jenny, things are typically pretty exciting. The action is what you're going to the mummy to see and I do believe that it delivers on that front. It's not the best of the year or anything, but it is satisfying simply as turn off your brain and enjoy style cinema. These mummies do like make out with people and turn them into other mummies though and I don't remember that from the old ones, but if you guys remember that, please let me know. Part of what I think really helped this film was Sofia Batella. She has very few actual lines, but she was absolutely fantastic in the role of Aminette, and without her incredibly strong villainous presence, this film would have been way worse. I think a strong villainous presence can pick up the slack in a film like this, because when the villain is intimidating and monstrous as she is, the stakes are ultimately raised to the level they need to be at. Also, while this is certainly not a horrifying film by any means, it definitely is a little bit scarier than I thought it was going to be. The zombie mummies were actually pretty scary 
scary despite their subpar CGI because they felt like zombies, which are almost always scary. And just in general, the film's execution of tension-filled scenes were actually done pretty effectively. I felt that tension despite the fact that I didn't really care about the two main characters. Not sure how that happened, honestly. I mentioned earlier that this mummy film was intended to set up the dark universe, and it certainly does. There's a character in this film that is very recognizable, who I will not mention, but I thought the introduction of this character was actually pretty well done for the most part. It doesn't feel shoehorned in by any means, it feels like the character actually had a role in the story being told, and this character was well acted too, so that helps. But overall, The Mummy is fun, but it's not one you need to catch in theaters or anything. I thought it had a fantastic villainous presence, some fun action scenes, and some nice tension and scares. Sadly, I also felt the story was inconsistent and too often made little sense, the characters and acting mostly suck, and the story itself lacks originality. I'm gonna give The Mummy a 6 out of 10, and recommend you pass on this one in theaters and wait for it on like Redbox or HBO or something down the line. So did you guys see The Mummy yet? What did you think of it? And if not, let me know why not. And also let me know whether you enjoyed The Mummy films from the late 90s, early 2000s. I did as a kid, but as an adult, it's hard to say. It's been a while since I've seen them. That's all for now though. This is Will Foxification signing off. See you in the next review.